most of my mornings I'm now taken up doing emails and some of the emails I get from people are incredible um, both from people that I coach and people that I don't coach um, Matt here for example who lives in the high mountains uh, in Europe he's got some pretty good surroundings to train in and with everything happening like he has to train indoors and things at the minute or he has been the last couple of weeks he's now like really really excited to get out now that lockdown is easing in Europe and he just wants to have my input on on what he can do um, and how how he can mix now getting outside for the first time with riding inside and like he's gone into so much detail in this email and it's it's so nice, like it's so nice for me, so refreshing for me to have, like, people like I enjoy being with people who are, who are very like, detail driven and like love putting these things together. I mean, just like, even this that he's put together, with his previous times and even the Strava segments in there. And I just had another email as well from um, from David, who has joined maybe two two or so weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and he's fired across a load of goals that he wants to kind of hit and achieve over the next six months and twelve months. <clears throat> and this brings me on to something that I want to talk about in this video in particular. And that's goals, and that's my goals. Ooh, Vernon is growing new leaves. What are you watching? People are going to think I'm an overgrown child. You are an overgrown child. <laughs> uh, oh, have you read me? Yeah, they're doing the Harry Potter Wizarding World Pottermore website. They're doing free readings of the first book. If people have got children. Wizarding world. Yeah. If people have got kiddies. What have you got bacon? <laughs> you can open the door if you want. It's a lemon drizzle tray break for Izzy. She just doesn't like chocolate. Oh. Um, None for me. No. <laughs> Very drizzly. Yeah. I'm going to leave it to cool now. It's a fair size lemon drizzle cake. Well, I thought... So um... Oof. Oh. Was here, cappuccino. Yeah. <laughs> it's my first, my first proper coffee in nearly eight weeks. Yeah. I say proper coffee. Flat white. What are you looking at here, Charles? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just admiring the things. Don't admire them. <laughs> I used to do fashion design. <laughs> Run away. Run away. <laughs> Enjoying your coffee, by the way? Yeah. I am as well. It's really nice. He even did it with soy milk for me. I won't get bad for me. <laughs> <sighs> it's nice. I'm going to title this video my first coffee in seven weeks. And it's going to be the biggest... You've had filter coffee. It's going to be the biggest clickbait in history. Kind of, that was the appeal. Hey, what's that, that film? Happened. What's that from? That's from a film, mate. Forrest Gump. What film is that from? Forrest Guys, Gump. you must know. No, I, I don't think it is from Forrest Gump. It's from a film with like, isn't it from ET or something? I don't know. It's 
Yeah. 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 Pair of Converse. Well, those aren't Converse, they're Vans. <laughs> to start with. <laughs> Oops. So I've just been taking a look at um, some of the data from my first sprint workout session, which I did this morning. And um, I'm looking at a quadrant analysis, which is very simply a breakdown of where you spent your time in um, in cadence ranges. So when you when you think about it's broken down into four parts. So there's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. And um, for this workout, I spent 6% of my time in quadrant two. And quadrant two is what you'd um, associate with acceleration, particularly from um, slow or low velocity, slow speed. Quadrant one and quadrant two is linked to when you spend time in them, um, more of that recruitment of of the fast twitch muscle fibers. So also you can probably see here, but I spend 90% of my time in quadrant three. And quadrant three is basically like um, low force and low velocity. So I'd spend quite a lot of time here in general um, because that would be usually what you do on like you know, recovery, um, recovery rides, recovery purposes. And as you know, I spent a lot of time during this session riding there. Um, and of course, the quadrant four is low force but high velocity. So that really, really fast kind of rapid uh, acceleration and um, what you'd kind of find, I guess, in, in criteriums to a certain extent. So I'm just going to look over here at like uh, a Zwift race that we've done recently and try and compare it. So this now is the Zwift race where we, um, well, this one is where we went up the uh, Keith Hill, I think, the Keith Hill finish. So with this one, as you can see, um, still majority of time spent there, but then I've got kind of like a fair share of time spent here but it's a lot more kind of scattered as you can see um, there's no real pattern there's no real specific um, target from this workout because it is a race um, whereas when you go to like today's session um, it is very specific as in you can see a distinct um, you can see distinct differences in in pedaling technique Just got out of the shower. Charlie's on uh, Charlie's on FaceTime to a couple of her friends from back uh, west, West Wales that is. Um, Tuesday night is usually um, movie night slash, well, I don't know, watching something night. Um, and we are like fully immersed in the the Last Dance documentary about um, well, I'm thinking about recovery now. So because it's like because it's like quite late in the evening, like it's half eight now. I wouldn't necessarily have a giant meal, but because I haven't eaten, uh, I haven't eaten an evening meal yet. I'm going to have a glass. Well, it's not really a glass. It's a mug of semi-skim milk um, I would have a shake but because I'm having my evening meal now uh, I'm not going to double up uh, usually I would have a shake and then like half an hour 45 minutes later after the shake I'll have uh, a proper meal but um, yeah because it's all late in the evening I'm probably going to be in bed within like an hour and a half uh, I'm just going to have some Milk, and we're gonna have a little serving of pasta. I don't know if you can see that. And we've also made some slow cooker chili, which is like basically beans, tomatoes, vegetables, you name it, um, in there. So, uh, 
so yeah that's gonna cap off that's gonna cap off today pretty decent enjoyed the race the usual usual thing happened big climb attacked brought back by a fairly large group and then and then uh, yeah my sprint was actually half decent but just ran out of legs Secret delivery. <gasps> oh! Wow! What's in this one? This is the cookie. Oh! <laughs> Two cookies. Rocky Road thing, brownie. Oh my word. Lunch is served. Oh, has so it got sea salt on it? Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. I don't know which one to go for first. Hmm. That's your brownie. Brownie. Blimey. That is a good cinnamon bun. Cinnamon roll. Whatever you want to call it. That is really, really good. Thank <laughs> you.